Hi, Joel. How are you doing today? Good. Hey, in this episode, uh, we're going to talk about uh, these eight cameras that you and I have reviewed, had acquired over the the years. And uh, but most of these cameras are new in the last twelve months, aren't they? They are. Uh, so there, there's a couple of them from last year's trial, but uh, um, I think the majority of them, like you said, are new. So in this episode, we're going to do a review just like we did last year in our Super Bowl challenge to review against performance KPIs that we built last year and uh, see how they rate. Yeah, so folks, stay with us. We're going to start uh, talking about trail cameras right after this intro. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses. Today we're going to be doing a review of eight cameras that Joel and I have acquired over the last 12 months and then also a couple from last year. Uh, pretty excited about this. We did a Super Bowl challenge last year and we're just continuing, continuing on with that process. But before we really dig into the cameras, Joel, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, how we set this all up. Yeah, maybe let's talk about how we set it up and then how we plan on evaluating it. Because all these cameras, well, most of these cameras, some of these cameras are pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, we'll, let's, how are we going to evaluate them? So on our first day, what we're going to do is, is we're going to, we set these cameras up all on one piece of, basically on a sawhorse, screwed them all down, basis their mount, and 17 yards roughly uh, we piled a pile of corn out. Tim, here we are. Outdoor. Man, what a beautiful day. 43 degrees, buddy. 43 degrees, and uh, tomorrow it's going to be 50 degrees uh, cooler than this. It's going to be below zero tomorrow, believe it or not. Unbelievable. So enjoy it while we can get it. Hey, here we are. This is going to be the second year that we're uh, doing this trail camera test. And this is, you know, this is kind of our setup this year. So I think a little, a little uh, improvement from last year where we were putting them uh, two at a time on a post. We're going to start off with uh, eight of them on a sawhorse with a board on it. They're secured to that and uh, from this you know we'll be able to narrow these eight down to some number less than that. Just a couple of things on this first round are about a little bit about our settings. How do we get these set up Jake? Yeah so we've got them set up where they're going to take uh, one picture, one picture only and then there's a one minute delay. Um, just, just trying to get you know, picture quality, sensitivity, uh, that type of information, and we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. And another thing, we're not testing battery uh, usage at this juncture. We'll use that as we go down, as we uh, go down the bracket. We've got a corn pile sitting here, probably, I don't know, 15, 17 yards away. So we really should have a pretty good shot. Um, we do have our uh, Cuddy Link camera right over here, but uh, not part of the challenge. We'll explain that a little later. We evaluated uh, picture quality on daytime and nighttime. What time did they take their first picture? And when did they take their last picture? And then also quantity of pictures. And uh, so we know that with the flashing, all of them giving a flash, it, it could deviate the results, but. Um, it allows us to evaluate this in a much quicker fashion and the results really start to come out anyway. Um, let's see, what else did we do? Uh, well, I mean, that's really it for, yeah. for day one anyway. Day one and, and, and from that, correct me if I'm wrong, from that day one, we, we want to go from eight down to six cameras and then, then they're going to start competing against each other. Right. The only reason we went from eight to six is we thought there were a couple that really um, going into it are, are going to fall off pretty fast. So we, we tried to weed those out as quick as we could. And they did. And and they did. We'll let the data support that in the next episode. But uh, it was it, we were correct in those cameras. And then when we in day two from those eight cameras, we then seeded them. We seeded them based upon performance and then put them against appropriate seeding. So one would compete against six and so forth. So um, that's what you're going to see. But with that, let's let's just get right into the cameras. Yeah, and, and we're going to talk to these cameras and um, 
you know, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to each one, try to give some high level specs in the episode, in the video, um, we'll include more specs that you can read. We're not going to talk to all the specs. And then we want to give some dumbass pros and cons since we use these cameras uh, during the season, you know, what we like about them, what we don't like about them. And then, uh, like I said, in the next episode, we'll see where they shake out. Sounds good. You know, also, there, we have a number of cameras that, that aren't in this challenge that we own. And uh, they were in our competition last year and didn't make this cut. So if you want to know more about those, maybe go and look look at that link and go back and look at our our episode we did in 2021. Yeah, yeah. Good, good ad. Good ad. All right, Tim, let's find the Acaso. Let's start off with the Acaso, the Acaso TC05. It is available and um, for $49.99, you too can own this uh, trail camera. It's uh, specs. Um, it's a 16 megabyte uh, picture with a four, four tenths of a second trigger speed. Um, it really brags about the uh, night vision in the uh, the sensors and 120 degree angle on the uh, on the lens. So, correct me wrong. This is yours, but I mean, if you you can do pretty much whatever you wanted to do with this, you can take one picture, three picture, video, video time lapse, yada. It's got a lot of features and functions about it, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, if we we're going to pros and cons on this, what would be some of the pros and cons, Tim? Uh, so one of the pros is it, it runs with eight AA batteries, but it will also continue to function if you just want to put in four AA batteries. So that's a positive. Uh, it's got a pretty good menu, um, easy to navigate through. Um, pretty slick little camera, as Joel said. It's got this 120 degree sensors, and you can set up the sensitivity for it. Um, those would be the main, and I would say picture quality. I would call so if as we go through this and we think of excellent, very good to good, those are going to be probably the three that we mainly talk about with these cameras. I'd put the picture quality on these day and nighttime is very good. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty good. Here's the con about these. The con is, is these Acasos are battery suckers. Uh, they don't recommend you putting in rechargeables because it'll it won't fire. It won't be enough voltage to fire the the mechanism. I've seen that. And uh, I would also say even if you put in alkaline, it brand new alkalines, they it runs through them pretty fast. Hmm. So those would be my cons. Yeah, and if I could add to it, just um, oh yeah. the the micro SD. The only thing it uses is a micro SD and. Uh, so you need the, well, first of all, they're tiny, small out in the field, right? Easy to lose. And then to read them in your PC, you're going to have to put them into an adapter, which isn't a big deal, but it's just one more thing to go wrong. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't have huge hands, but I mean, it is super difficult to pull that out. So that's, a, that's to me, that's a con. I've lost three SD, mini micro SDs out in the field in the, in the last 18 months, so... Acaso. TCO5. So this is a Primos Proof 03. It's um, 12 megapixels, 7 tenths of a second trigger speed, 80 foot night range, um, fast recovery, you know, so on and so forth. Um, I, I This is yours, but I have... Three cameras very similar to this, if not identical. Um, so features and function-wise, pros and cons. Um, again, this is one of those cameras that will pretty much do everything that you want. Time lapse, um, video, uh, video and pictures, or combination of both. Hybrid. Um, me, the big pro on this bad boy is, is um, it, it takes pretty darn good pictures. It um, is super simple to set up. Um, there's very little menu uh, settings that you put on. It's got little sliders, which I really love. And, um, you know, battery wise, um, it, it, I've had really good luck with it uh, doing doing some battery, uh, holding up on the batteries. Eight double A's, just like all of them. So I would concur. So I purchased, I, I can't remember, two or three of these last year after, after our Super Bowl challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm a believer in them. 
uh, they're, they're very nice cameras and just as Joel said, super easy setup. And this one ended up in the top two, if not the top uh, camera last year. From a con standpoint, um, I, I've, had, I've had some issues with the latch. This latch is, I've got one of my cameras that uh, doesn't, you know, this one's still latching really good. Uh, I've got one of these that I've got to put a stick in there to hold it uh, latch tight. And uh, then I've got one of them that uh, this latch is actually broke. So this is, is probably going to be the first thing that breaks on this camera. Um, again, I'm three or four years into this. And then the last con on this is the, these batteries fit in these tray, and, man, they're difficult to get out in the field with your fingers. Uh, I, I literally use a screwdriver or a knife uh, to get them out because they're, they're in there pretty good. It's definitely a process to even put them in. Yeah, it is. It is. But overall... Um, you know, good camera. They are available. Um, I found them. They're, they're going out. This is an older model, and uh, but they they still are available on eBay, and they're about 125 bucks is the cheapest I found them. And well, they're hard to find. They've gone up in price. They've gone up in price, and they're really hard to find. So the word's out. Um, let's go to the Bushnell, Bushnell Trophy HD. Uh, that's this one, right? Yep. And um, this is uh, one that I picked up at Cabela's last year, and um, it was I had a great deal on it. Um, I paid 50 bucks for it, but the cheapest I can find it right now is about 160 bucks um, on eBay. 24 megapixel, 0.2 shutter speed, 80 foot um, sensor on it. Um, literally anything you want to do with a trophy or a camera, a trail camera, this thing will do. In fact, that's one of my cons is, is it's pretty darn complicated to set up because there's so many things in the menu. Um, and if you're like me, most of the time I'm setting all my cameras up, you know, in a certain way. And that's, that's what I do. I don't change them very much, but, uh, a lot of, a lot of flexibility and a lot of options on this, um, a con um, there's a there's actually a screen that this comes with that fits in here and after the first time of using this um, I had to go in and change some of the settings um, because at night it was super dark picture wise and I wasn't getting very pic uh, very good pictures and uh, read the directions and they said you know take the screen out if you're having some issues at night and it helped it a lot and um, also there's some shutter shutter set settings and some uh, LED sensor settings that I had to change to get better pictures at night. So um, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It's one of the new cameras in the contest this year, so I'm excited to see where, um, where this one might end up. Okay. Um, stay with the Primos uh, Autopilot. So that is this one. Yep, it's probably the camera that's replacing the... Uh, that's not so good. All right, that's we'll a talk con. That's a con. <laughs> uh, uh, this is one that's replacing the, uh, the Primos Proof um, this year. So it is a 16 megapixel... Uh, 48 glow LED, 100 foot detection, again, 0.4 trigger speed, really good luck with it. It's got tray uh, for the battery that slides in and out. That can be a pro and a con in, in, in my opinion. Uh, but again, just like the Primos 03, the, um, I really like the simplicity of setting this up. And it takes a lot of pictures and they're, and they're pretty good quality pictures. So that's, um, a, that's a problem. Yeah. So maybe we ought to talk about cons. <laughs> yeah, cons are uh, uh, cons are obviously the it's got a it's got a bad uh, connector here. <laughs> got to do some duct taping. But um, yeah, I I really don't have a lot of cons with this. I mean, obviously the latch is a problem, <laughs> Tim. But um, these are available. These are available at uh, Nanchez. Um, Shooting for supply, eighty matches. bucks, yeah, yeah. notches, and uh, eighty bucks, and you can buy one right now for about eighty bucks. So again, I'm excited to see where that one uh, <laughs> comes into play <laughs> if it still works. <laughs> All right, we 
we've got a couple spy points, Tim. And uh, you're you're a little familiar with these, but um, let's go with the spy point link W. Okay, that's this one right here. So I bought this on deal. I, I hadn't committed to cellular yet at the time. And uh, so I thought, gosh, you know what? They had it on clearance. It was the last one. Link W means uh, it's a Walmart model uh, that they were selling through there. So they must have cheapened up the model in order to sell that because that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing from a performance perspective but more on that a little bit later um, the nice thing about this spy point is that even if uh, so it does take an SD card inside it even if it's not transmitting cellular wise it's still taking pictures now it takes pictures and video but uh, that I've found out there's there's no way if it's not if it's not receiving into your app, you can't change the settings on this. So it's the settings on it are taking video and pictures. That's what it is. Um, we'll talk more about that a little bit later. That's about all I got to say about spin point. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to bleep out some of your acronyms for spy point, but uh, it is a 10, 10 megapixel camera. Um, it will take multi shots up to two pictures. So some limited multi shot, um, 80 feet range, a half second trigger speed, um, eight AA batteries um, is what it runs on. So yep. more to come on that one. See where that one falls in the bracket. Uh, let's go with the other spy point, spy point link micro S LTE. So really slick camera. So I bought two of these. Um, again, so now I started to commit. Again, if you if you haven't seen this other show that we're doing on Cuddy Link, excuse me, Cuddy Back Cuddy Link cameras, you're gonna want to probably look at look at our playlist that we have here and we're doing a really deep dive on, on that set of cameras, but I initially had bought two of these spy points and I was prepared to buy additional spy points. Um, the things that I like about it is, is solar it comes with a, the fact that it was expensive. It comes with a lithium pack battery, um, $60, $70 just in uh, the battery itself. And um, really liked the fact that, hey, I could put it up anywhere, very little setup and, and it works. At least, at least this one does. Uh, we'll talk more about that a little later. Okay, so pros and cons on this one. So this is a 0.4 shutter speed. You talked about the solar and the battery, which is a huge pro, right? Uh, dumbass pro. 10 megapixels, so 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 on the megapixels. Um, what are some pros and cons of this bad boy? So does not take an SD card per se. Uh, it does have an SD card that it will store pictures to. Um, but if it's not registering, you're not going to get you're not going to get those pictures. And then, uh, and the SD card it takes is a is a micro SD. Okay. So so it's purely cellular. If you're going to use this, it's got to be cellular. Uh, all the settings are through your smartphone or tablet, and all you're receiving all your images through the same thing. Yep. Okay. Okay. And 169 dollars. You can get those today at Cabela's and and other other stores. And if I didn't mention on the other spy point, that was about 120 bucks, 117 bucks on, on eBay. Um, and then we get into um, a couple Moultries, Tim. Um, the Moultrie A700, which uh, again was in the top top finishers last year in our bracket uh, the a700 is a 14 megapixel camera 60 foot detection uh, 0.7 second trigger speed uh, two-year warranty um, which is which is better than most of these uh, by a year um, pros and cons so this is their Moultrie a series uh, I got this from my aunt and uncle last year for Christmas and we tried them out I normally wouldn't buy a Moultrie camera but this this runs pretty slick it'll do anything you want does video does pictures does bursts um, pretty good on battery battery usage takes eight eight double A's um, not as bad as that autopilot and trying to get the battery excuse me 
the Primos and getting those batteries in, but it is tough still. It still has some components that, are, that make it not super simple. Use a standard SD card. I really don't have any cons on this camera. It doesn't show the battery level. Yes, you know what that yeah. is, that kind of an ear. I mean, it's a little one, but um, it is nice. It's kind of unusual that it doesn't uh, show the battery level. But um, And you can get this camera. Again, these are going, we've been on the lookout for these because they up for the money, man. These are a, a pretty good camera, um, but they're going out. You know, the Moultrie's uh, change, change their model every year or two, and uh, this one clearly has gone the way out. Uh, but you can get it on eBay at, at the press time here for about 56 bucks on eBay. That's a sweet deal. That's a good deal, and I'd, I'd get them while you can because they're going to get hard to find. Good deal. Again, I don't, we don't get anything from uh, Moultrie. And most of the time, I wouldn't, wouldn't even buy their press. Well, in fact, we were not, let's just to be nice about it, we were not Moultrie fans going into the brackets last year, and this camera by itself you know, changed our mind. That's right. It's an A series and it's the A900. So the last one was an A700. The fact that this is an, part of their A series, um, I was having difficulty finding the A700. So I bought a couple of these A900s and, uh, very similar setup. I mean, just same menu, same same battery setup. The only difference that, I mean, you really can see when you look at these comparatively, I mean, even the flash is the same, is it's, it's camouflage. That's the only difference that I see. Uh, on the outside, on the inside, it does have a, a 30 megapixel photo resolution, so a higher uh, megapixel. Um, and the shutter speed is 0 0.4, I think, versus 0.7 on the uh, A700. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So faster shutter speed, um, more LEDs, and uh, more megapixels. Okay. Pros and cons, Timbo? Um, again, just the battery usage, really. I mean, it, it performs very similarly to the A700, so I'm anxious to see how it's going to compete here. Yeah, so these are a little more readily available, but you're going to be paying uh, a little more premium price for them too. There, um, you can get a refurbished ones for about seventy-five bucks, brand new, or about ninety bucks on eBay, which is the the, the cheapest place that I found and, and most readily available. So. You know, that's where we're at. That's the eight contenders. And uh, Tim, let's talk about what are the, you know, we said, hey, we're going to go from eight to six in this episode. So what were the two uh, cameras that fell out um, to get us down to six? So the Acaso, I expected it to do better. So part of the recommendations on these TCO5s is that you format the SD card bef before you uh, set it up. I mean, before you set it up to take pictures. So it's got that in the menu to format. So I hit format, put an SD card format, and uh, this one fell out. So first off, it, it said it formatted, and it didn't. And it didn't take any pictures. So we had brand new batteries in here, and I thought it would perform better than that, to be honest with you. Okay. So... It's got other issues with it, so I'm, I wasn't willing to give this one a second chance. So, gone. TCO five cos was gone. Gone. Not in the brackets. Did not make the brackets. Nope. And um, what was the other one that uh, did not make the brackets? Our uh, spy point. Um, so this one does not register. Uh, that's a whole other story in itself. We'll we'll talk about that in its own review. Um, but. It took a total of 48 pictures and then an associated number of uh, video. So I would not very happy with this, nor did it even compete with these other cameras. So these two cameras are out. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Well, that leaves us six. So um, in our next episode, so again, just to recap those six, we've got two Moultries, the 700 and the 900. We've got two Primos, the Proof 
and proof 03 and the autopilot. Um, we've got the Bushnell Trophy HD and we've got the Spy Point uh, Link. Uh, Link. Uh, micro S L T E. Yep. Um, that are still in it. So not to make this complicated because we're going to have, we'll have this in the next episode, what the brackets are and how they're going to compete um, and talk about the ranking and stacking. But um, anything else to add, Tim, in this episode? Nope. That's it. Yeah. Well, as always, thanks for watching and until next time, be safe, safe have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, 